Hey everyone, it's Mr. Siras here for another session in GCSE Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about current and charge. So, what exactly is current? Let's define it. Current, oh, let's get the pen out. Current is simply the rate of flow of charge. So it's basically how fast the charge is flowing around your circuit. You can see on this diagram on the left hand side, this is meant to represent, a well this is a cell over here, and this is a bulb. So we have a cell here and we have a bulb here. The charges are going to be these guys here, so these guys represent the charge. So how fast they're going around our circuit, that's basically what current is. So the rate at which the charge is flowing around your circuit is going to be the current. Now, let's scroll down for our first GCSE physics formula. It's going to be current is equal to charge divided by time. So let's put this down. Current is equal to charge divided by time. Instead of having current, I can't be bothered to write it out 100 times. We're going to use symbols. So current is denoted by I. Charge is going to be denoted by Q. Time is going to be denoted by lowercase t. Now, we need to have the units of each of these quantities. So Q is going to be measured in coulombs. Time is going to be measured in seconds. Current is going to be measured in amps. Um, you don't have to write down coulombs, seconds or amps, the word. You can actually use symbols. So coulombs is denoted by capital C. Seconds denoted by lowercase s. Amps, capital A. So I is equal to Q divided by T, and we now have the symbols C for coulombs, S for seconds, capital A for amps. All right, so current is equal to charge divided by time. Now let's try um, to do a question using that formula. So a light is switched on for an hour. During that time, 1,800 coulombs of charge pass through the bulb. What is the current? So what are they asking for? They're trying to get you to work out the current. So we know that current is equal to charge divided by time. Now, what is the charge? You can see that in our formula. No, not in our formula, in the question. 1,800 coulombs is going to be the charge. The time, we can see it's going to be an hour. Everyone happy with that? A light is switched on for an hour, so that is the time. And this one is the charge. Now, throwing it into our formula, we know the charge is going to be 1,800 coulombs. The time, but the time is in hours. If you look at the formula, oops, where's it gone? Here we go. The time is going to be in seconds. We must convert the hour into seconds. So how many seconds are there in an hour? We know that in one hour, there are going to be 60 by 60 seconds. Why? because in every minute there are 60 seconds, but you have 60 minutes, so therefore it's 60 times by 60. The answer is 3600 seconds. Let's put that now into our formula, 3600 seconds. You always have to show you're working out in physics. So take your calculator out, it's going to be 1800 divided by 3600. The answer is 0.5. 0.5 amps. You need to put the unit down for the mark. Excellent, so we've done one question. Let's try another one. Now, we have the following question. A current of 12 amps flows for 20 minutes into an electrical cooker. How much charge has the cooker used? So we're trying to find out the charge this time. Always write down the formula. I is equal to Q divided by T. Now, Q is equal to I multiplied by T. Yeah, okay with that? Now, the time here. So we've got the time, whoops, is 20 minutes. So we've got the time over here. We've got the current over here. This is the current, I. But there's a problem once again, 20 minutes. The formula is not in minutes, it's in seconds. We must now convert the minutes into seconds. So 20 minutes is going to be 20 by 60 seconds. Why? 
because in one minute there are 60 seconds, therefore 20 by 60. So 20 times by 60 is going to be 1, 2, 0, 0 coulombs of charge. Oh no, no, it's not coulombs. No, it's not. It's not. It's seconds. Minutes. So we're converting it to seconds. Happy days. Even I make errors. Right. So Q is equal to I times by T. Therefore, I, you know it's going to be 12 amps times by the time. The time I've got 20 minutes. Therefore, we now know that's going to be 1,200 seconds. Therefore, put that into a calculator now. We're going to do 12 times by 1200. Zero, zero. Bang, you've got 14400 zero, zero coulombs. Nice, superb stuff. Okay, so we've done another one. And that's it for today's session. Sh short and sweet. Summary. Let's have a little summary here. Current is the rate of flow of charge. Current is equal to charge divided by the time. Current is measured in amps. Charge is measured in coulombs. And time is measured in seconds. And that's it. And that's it for today's learning. Let me jazz up a bit. Here we go. Make sure you've got this right because we need this information for next lesson. Alright, and that's it for today. Ciao, ciao. Goodbye.